JavaScript comes with a powerful ecosystem of tools for building desktop applications that can run on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Today's video is a practical guide for building a desktop app with Vue 3 and Electron. We'll be building a simple file explorer that allows users to view file sizes, navigate inside directories, and apply a simple file search operation. To do this, we'll walk through the process of setting up an Electron app with Vue and looking at how Electron interacts with the native operating system. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other tutorials. A link to the full source code can be found in the description below. To get started, we'll first create a new Vue 3 project using the Vue CLI tool. We'll select Vue 3 for our project since we'll be using the new composition API to create our Vue components. Once the Vue project is set up, we'll configure Electron using the Vue Electron CLI plugin. It provides the perfect starting point so we don't have to set up all the packages required to get Vue working with Electron. To add it, all we have to do is run Vue Add Electron Builder. In the process of setting it up, you'll notice it only gives us the options to install up to version 9 of Electron. Currently, at the time of making this video, version 11 is also available. For now, select version 9, and once the installation process is finished, we can upgrade to the latest version by running yarn add electron. We'll also install Bootstrap 5 to make sure our UI looks a little more polished. Of course, you can install any UI framework you'd like. Once the installation process is complete, we can run our electron app by running yarn electron serve. You'll notice a window pops up, which contains the template view components generated by the Vue CLI. Before we jump into building our application, let's take a brief look at the folder structure. Inside the source folder, we have all the files to initialize Vue, such as the main.js file and the app.view file. But you'll also notice we have a background.js file. This file is equivalent to the main.js file that runs Vue, except it sets up the process to run Electron. Opening the background.js file, you'll notice it imports an app object from Electron, which uses an event-based API. It is used to hook into different lifecycle hooks of the application. For example, we have this ready event, which sets up the Vue dev tools to work with Electron. In this ready function, You'll also notice it calls create window, which loads our Vue UI in a separate process. We'll need to handle communication between these processes to allow our Vue process to trigger events in the Electron process. We'll do this through the use of interprocess communication, or IPC. This will allow us to send events from our Vue application to our Electron background process. It is common to send events to Electron so we can gain access to native operations that would otherwise not be available. To handle IPC, Electron has a library for common operations. We can install it with yarn add at Electron slash remote. Once installed, we'll need to initialize it in the background.js file and enable the remote module in our browser that is running our Vue application. This will allow us to run functions in the background process triggered by events happening in our Vue components. Now that we have all our dependencies set up, we can get to building our file explorer. I have cleared out all the components generated by the Vue CLI tool and imported Bootstrap CSS classes into the main.js file. We'll start off by writing the logic for getting files and navigating around. Then we'll create a file viewer component, which will display the files in a table. For reading files and handling path string manipulations, we can use the node modules fs and path. If you know anything about web development in Node.js, you'll know that these modules are not available in the web browser. But since we're using Electron, we can actually access them directly in our view components. To do this, we must make sure we enable the node integration option for our view process. It's important to note it's best practice to not enable this option, but since we need access to FS and path, we'll need to do so. All we have to do is create a view.config.js file and copy the snippet of code provided in the view electron plugin documentation. With the configuration now set up, we can import both of these modules into our app.view file. We'll create a path ref, which will contain the current path where the user is. We'll also default this to the location of the Electron app. 
To get the app's location, we'll need to make an IPC call to the backend process. Thankfully, Electron Remote has a function to make this process super easy. All we have to do is import the app and call the getAppPath function. With the path, we can now create a computed property that will read the files in the directory. The fs module has a function called readdir which returns an array of file names for all the files and directories in a given path. Since it does not give us all the information we need, we'll need to iterate over each path and use the stat sync to determine if it's a directory and also get the file size. I've also created a simple function above that will convert the byte number result into a more human readable format. If you'd like to take a look at how it works, pause the video now as I won't be going into details since you can find a full explanation on Stack Overflow. Before we return the files in our computed function, we should also sort the files so we display directories first, then files, and also sort their names in alphabetical order. Next, we'll create an open folder function, which will append the folder name to our path. A back function will also be required so that we can navigate outside of the current directory. The path module has functions that already handles the string manipulations for us. All we have to do is call them and assign them to our path reference. Next, let's set up the search option before we create the file views table. We'll define a new ref, which will model the input of a text box. Then we'll create a computed property that will apply a filter to check if the name of the files start with the search string. We'll also wrap this in a ternary statement so that we can simply return the array of files if no search is set. In the template, we'll create the search input element and use vmodel to model our search string. We'll also add a header to display the current path where the user is. Next, we'll create the file view component. This accepts an array of files as props, iterates over each file, and creates a row in the table. In each row, we'll display the file's name and size and make sure the table looks a little nice by adding a folder and file icon that will be displayed for each of their corresponding types. When a user clicks a folder, we'll omit a folder click event and pass in the folder they clicked. We'll also need to add another row at the top for going back to the parent directory. When clicked, it will simply omit a back event. In the app, we'll import a file view component and add listeners for each of these events. When any of these events are triggered, we'll call our functions that we previously created for handling string manipulation. And we are done. We now have a file explorer using View and Electron. Before we finish this video, there is one more step I promised, being able to build an app for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. To build for any of these platforms, the process is pretty easy, but most of the time, you'll need to run the build command on each of the operating systems you'd like to build for. If you don't have one of these operating systems available, you could use a build pipeline that offers these operating systems to easily build your project. Under the hood, View Electron plugin is using Electron Builder. They have a detailed sections in their documentation about building since every use case can be slightly different. Since I'm running this app on Windows, I can simply run yarn electron build and it will create a Windows executable file in the electron disk folder. I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned about using Electron in Vue. I also have a growing community over on Discord, so I recommend you go check it out. Link will be in the description below. Anyways, hope to see you in the next one.